Why do people in one part of the world need rain boots and umbrellas, while others rarely see a single cloud? Why do some places get snow every winter, while others are hot all year long? It all comes down to climate. Climate isn't the same as weather. Weather is what's happening outside today. Rain, sun, snow, wind. But climate is the long-term pattern of weather in a particular place. It tells us the average temperature, how much rain or snow falls, and what seasons are like year after year. Geographers divide the world into climate regions, and each one has its own typical temperature, rainfall, and seasonal rhythm. These regions are shaped by natural factors, like latitude, ocean currents, elevation, wind systems, and the shape of the land. Let's take a tour of the five major global climate regions and meet the people who live there. First up is the tropical climate region. This region circles the equator and includes places like Brazil, Indonesia, and the Congo. Tropical climates are hot and humid all year long, with little temperature change between seasons. These regions get lots of rainfall, which supports lush rainforests, massive biodiversity, and farming of crops like bananas, rice, and sugarcane. But living in a tropical climate also means managing intense storms, flooding, and humidity. Next is the dry climate region, which includes deserts and semi-arid areas. Think of the Sahara Desert in Africa, Central Australia, or parts of the Middle East. Dry regions get very little rain, and they often have extreme temperature swings. Hot during the day, cold at night. Vegetation is sparse, and people here must be resourceful with water. Many rely on wells, irrigation systems, or careful storage to support crops and communities. Then we have the temperate climate region. This includes much of Southern Canada, Europe, parts of China, and coastal areas around the world. Temperate climates have four distinct seasons spring, summer, fall, and winter. The weather is moderate, with warm summers, cool or cold winters, and regular precipitation. These regions are ideal for farming and support large populations. Cities like Toronto, Paris, and Tokyo fall into this zone. Next is the continental climate region found further inland in places like Russia, the northern United States, and central Canada. These areas experience hot summers and cold winters, with greater temperature differences between seasons. Snowfall can be heavy in the winter, while summers may be hot and stormy. Because they're far from oceans, these places don't benefit from the climate balancing effects of water. Last is the polar climate region. These are the coldest places on Earth, like northern Canada, Greenland, and Antarctica. Temperatures stay below freezing for most of the year, and snow and ice are common. The land is covered in tundra or glaciers, and life is tough here. People in these areas, like the Inuit, have adapted their ways of living to survive the cold, from building insulated homes to eating traditional high-energy foods. Each of these climate regions shapes the daily life, culture, and choices of the people who live there. The clothes they wear, the food they grow, the buildings they live in. All of it connects to the climate. So here's your challenge. You're going to write a creative pen pal letter 
from someone living in a specific climate region of the world. To complete this challenge, choose one of the five major climate regions. Tropical, dry, temperate, continental, or polar. Pick a country or location that fits within that climate region. Imagine what daily life is like for someone living there. Write a first-person letter that describes what the weather is usually like in that region. What kind of clothing, shelter, or activities people need to adapt. What challenges or benefits the climate brings. Any unique seasonal events, storms, or weather patterns. Your letter should sound like a real person writing to a pen pal, full of interesting details and personality about life in your chosen climate region. You can be creative, but be accurate. Use real facts about the climate and bring the region to life through your words. At the end, you may swap letters with a classmate who wrote from a different climate region and compare how daily life changes depending on where you live. Good luck and enjoy writing from another climate.